Hello everyone, and welcome to this monotype battle between me and the Darkwing Ducklet. So, I'm using monotype electric as he uses fire. So, let me just take you through my team. My team is... Uh, will be leading off with a Rotom Wash. Of course, it is mm, a trick set. And I can't quite remember if it's a bulky spec set or a fast scarfed set, but we'll find out. I know it's probably specs because I'm pretty sure my Electivire is scarfed. My Raichu is a standard Encore Nasty Plot set, I believe. My Max Zone is a Max Defense set. With my Raikou being max special defense with the reflect, which is quite interesting, and my E Electrox is my revenge killer after something has been paralyzed, but it goes on sort of a little mini sweep in this battle. So, yeah, basically, the deal with the max special defense Raikou is basically I didn't know what else to throw in max special defense, so. So I've just put it on that, and it doesn't work too badly eh? in battles. But anyway, let's go on to my opponent's team. So when I first saw this team, I thought that Magnezone was going to be in trouble. Rotom Wash was going to be a huge help. My Electivire New Earthquake, which was also going to be a massive help. And I kind of thought I was kind of relying on my on those sort of pokes. Really, right on washing electrifier, but um, yeah. So just to confirm, before I go through his team, we did not know each other's type. Okay, if I remember correctly, we did not know each other's type. But looking at his team, I would have said that his Darmanitan was going to be his lead to just come out in U-turn. Infernic could also have been a U-turner, though. It this team definitely looked interesting because. I wasn't really expecting Moltres, I was definitely expecting Volcarona on a fire team. And of course Heatran, probably a Choice Scarf set, but he has a lot of pokes on his team which could well be Choice Scarfed. So I didn't really know what to do, or well just Choice in general really. Torko was obviously going to be his Rapid Spinner, with Lava Plumes just trying to burn some stuff. So yeah, I didn't really know what to expect of this battle. So, let's get on with it. Okay, so, I lead off with my Rotom Wash, as you'd expect. As he leads off with his Darmanitan, as you'd also expect. He goes to the U-turn and goes to his Heatran, as I go just go for the trick straight away to get the Heatran's leftovers and gives him the specs, which does confirm that mine was actually bulky, as we didn't know in the team preview. <laughs> So I go for the Hydro Pump, and his Heatran goes for the Sunny Day, which is probably a good thing for a Fire Team to have a Sunny Day. So he brings in his Royal Mosh, I go for the Thunder Wave, I'm kind of thinking that it's most likely a Scarf Orb, so yeah. I then go for a Volt Switch to my Electivire, expecting him to Volt Switch, and so I can get the Motor Drive Boost, which, I, which he does, and I do gain some speed. So he goes into, into his Torko, I just go for the Wild Charge, there's not much to that Torko at all, which, I mean, it is a Torko, I expected it to take it quite nicely. So I go to Raikou, as he does go for the Will-O-Wisp, but he misses, as, and the Sunlight fades, which is obviously very useful for me, I go for the Reflect as he goes for the Earthquake, taking the Earthquake like a, well, a rock, to be honest, even though rocks weak to ground, so that just made no sense. The Volt Switch did a nice amount of damage. I go into the Electros. The Will O Wisp misses again. And then I go for a Thunder Wave on the Torko. So, two of his Pokemon now are paralyzed. And he finally hits the Will O Wisp. Probably not on the right thing, though. So, I go for the Thunderbolt. That does KO it. And I am a Life Orb set, so I am going to be able to switch my moves. In comes Darmanitan. I switch out to Magnezone and just sack it, to be honest. Uh, oh no, yeah, yeah, I do sack it because, uh, yeah, because uh, uh, that's going to be a clean two hit KO. Thanks to Reflect, I do take it, but after that, uh, it's really not going to matter. So I now go into my Electivire, and he goes out into his Rotom Heat to predict the Earthquake, as I do go for that. 
I then bring in Rotom Wash as he sets up the Sunny Day. Which, you know, again, I'm not too worried. So I go for the T Wave on the Switch. Great prediction on my part as he goes into Darmanitan and I take the Flare Blitz in the Sun thanks to my bulkiness and the not very effectiveness. And I can kill off the Darmanitan with the Hydro Pump. So in comes Burnape, still not 100% on what kind of set this is. He goes for the close combat, it kills off my Rotom Wash. And he obviously does get the defense losses. And I go into Electivire, he knows I'm Scarfed. And I go for the World Charge, just because, you know, I don't, I kind of predicted it. I didn't really have anything else to hit the Rotom Heat with. So, clearly the World Charge isn't doing very much to it. He goes for the Hidden Power Ice. I would say it's ice, could be fire, but he but he does have overheat, so it most likely is ice. I go for the wall charge to kill it off, as he brings in his heat tram to set up the sunny day. So he brings in his Moltres, and I just go for the thunder wave, which is brilliant for me, because Moltres really can't do much to me now. I go for the T bolt because I I am obviously now faster. I'd say Light Bulb E Electros with Thunder Wave is awesome. I'm not gonna lie. So I just stay in and sack E Electros here as he goes for the Mock Punch, which, you know, he could have picked something else really. It wasn't a must go for the Mock Punch. But I'm kind of thinking, I think, I'm pretty sure that Infernic was banded. So I set up the Reflex as he brings in Heatran. It goes for the Earth Power, and thanks to my, my uh, special defense, Raikou does take it nicely. So I roar it out, and in comes Infernape to take me out with the close combat. So it's two all now, and it's looking like to be a tight game. But Elect uh, can come in. He goes out to sack his Heatran as I go for the earthquake, and it's really game over now. You'd think, but because he is banded, I am forced to sack my Raichu. But then that mock punch really doesn't do much and yeah the reflectors up but even that doesn't kill me off and that thunderbolt does a nice chunk and so he can kill me off with the mock punch but electivar can now come in can he take the mock punch yes he can with four percent health remaining and i can kill the infernape off with the earthquake so that was a great game happened quite a while ago actually um darkwing ducklet great battler uh posts uh, battle videos on his channel. He also does Minecraft videos, which I enjoy watching. So go check him out. The link will be in the description below. So thanks for watching, and goodbye.